Art Gallery of Burlington is Burlington's public art gallery and community art center, where creators, cultures, and communities meet and share in the wealth of human creativity. Artist educator and studio technician Heather joins us for a demonstration on how we can make paintbrushes from things we find in nature. Hi friends, my name is Heather and I'm coming at you from the Art Gallery of Burlington. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make paintbrushes out of objects you can find in nature. So let's get started. Enjoy a walk out in nature. Look for items that you think will make good textures for brush heads. It is important that you look for leaves, twigs, dried flowers, and branches that have already fallen to the ground naturally instead of taking from a living plant. To make your brushes, you'll need the following items. Paint in any color, elastic bands, string or twine or yarn, and scissors. To make your brushes, you will need some small sturdy sticks between 6 and 10 inches long to use as your brush handle. In this video to make my brushes, I will be using two different types of pine needles, dried flowers, dandelions, cedar leaves, and a thistle. The thistle was really prickly so I wrapped the stem in tape to protect my fingers. I wonder what kind of objects you'll find to make your brushes. Place your string or yarn down on the table. My string is about 6 inches long. Next, place your stick and brush material on top of your string and tie a half knot. Wrap the remaining ends of the string around your stick and brush and secure with a knot. Another way to make a brush is to take an elastic band and tightly wrap it around the end of the stick several times. Then lift a couple layers of the rubber band and pull the stem of your object through to hold it firmly in place. You can always wrap colorful yarn over the rubber band to hide it and make the brush more secure. Finally, using a stick, take a small rock and carefully pound the end of the stick with the rock. This will split the end of the stick and help soften and fray the wood fibers to make a brush. Try making different brushes using different stick sizes and different types of wood. When your brushes are finished, try them out with some paint. I am using acrylic paint and wax paper for a paint palette. Record your mark making on a piece of paper. Heavier paper like cardstock or watercolor paper works the best, but any paper will do. I'm using the primary colors of red, yellow, and blue here, but you can use whatever colors you like. Try experimenting by mixing colors together. Which brush is your favorite? When you are finished, use your brushes to paint a picture. my picture of a windy fall day. Show us what you made by tagging us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website. Thank you for joining us. See you again.